And today, it's sure to be a packed house tonight when Detroit emergency manager Kevin Orr talks to the public about his financial and operational plan to save the city of Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live on Wayne State University's campus where this meeting will be held tonight. And Julie, a lot of people looking forward to this. What can we expect? That's right, Vic. I think people are going to hear some things that they like, and then there's going to be a lot that they're not going to like, and they're going to be able to express those feelings. We're even told there will be some protesters happening out here before the meeting. Now, this is something that emergency manager Kevin Orr has to do. He's required to hold this meeting under the state emergency manager law. Now, he has to do it within 30 days of submitting his financial report to the state, which he did in May. Orr will talk about how dire the city's finances are, and he'll talk about what needs to be done to get back on track and try to avoid bankruptcy. Now the meeting, it's open to anyone and people have a chance to ask questions, but also have a chance to voice their concerns about any potential cuts that the city may see or city assets that could be sold to fix this financial problem. Now the meeting is tonight at 630. It's happening here at the Spencer Partridge Auditorium. It's part of Wayne State's uh, law school campus on Palmer Street. Now the auditorium, it only holds about 260 people. That's when it will reach capacity. I'm being told uh, right now, they're not sure what they will do if too many people do show up tonight. There's a parking structure right across the street. We're live from Wayne State's campus. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. All right, Julie, you talk about people may not hear what they want to hear. Is there any additional security for this meeting just in case people get, you know, very loud or boisterous? Well, a spokesperson for Wayne State University told me that the police department here, they are aware of it, but he doesn't expect that there will be any additional security, although that could change depending on the flow of the meeting. All right, Julie, we appreciate that report. We'll be checking back in with you later today, and we will carry that meeting live tonight. If you can't be there, we will stream it live for you on our site, WXYZ.com.